Hey, what's going on gamers? It's Swish Benoit and today we are doing a new tutorial for 2023 on how to install script hook and script mods for Red Dead Redemption 2. And this is going to be a really quick one. So let's not waste any time. And as always, let's start the sim. All right, guys, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and follow that first link down below, which is going to take you to the script hook RDR2 by Dev C, the AB software development. This is going to be the main script hook you always need inside of your game that is constantly updated. So once we're inside this page here, let's just go ahead and click the download and it will open up a zip file for you. If you do not know how to open up zip files, make sure you have WinRAR, WinZipper, one of those programs which will allow you to open up these files. So let's go ahead and click that, open it up here. And we're going to open the bin folder and we're just going to hold off here for just a second. And the next thing we need to do is go ahead and locate that main game directory. And I'm going to show you a really quick way how to find it. If you don't know how, if you are a steam user, if you're an Epic games user, it's pretty much the same. So what you want to do is here is go to your library tab. We're going to right click Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to go to manage and we're going to go to browse local files. And this is going to pop us directly into the main game directory for Red Dead Redemption 2. And once you are inside of here, we're going to go ahead and go to the top left quick access and we're going to pin current folder to quick access and this will make it so your red dead redemption 2 main game directory is easily accessible with just one click as it will put it here on the left as you can see right there red dead redemption 2. so now that we have that done what we need to do is go back here to the bin folder from our script hook rdr2 download and we have three things inside of here which is the native trainer the d input and the script hook rdr2 so let's just go ahead and highlight script hook RDR2 and the D input 8. We do not need the native trainer.asi, although you can use that, uh, but that is more of a personal preference. So let's go ahead and drag and drop those two in the main game directory. And the next thing we need to do is go ahead and follow that second link in the description down below, which is going to take us to community script hook rdr2.net. And this is the script hook.net which is a different version of script hook that certain mods require to use uh, generally alongside the main version of script hook. So what we need to do now that we're here on this Nexus mods page is first thing you need to do is make sure you have an account with Nexus mods. It is completely free in order to join. Just need to log in with your email, sign up. And once you have that done, we're going to go back to this page and we're going to click manual download. And once we've done that, let's click the slow download tab and it's going to quickly start downloading here on the right. And once that is completed, let's go ahead and open it on up. And inside this folder, as you see, there is a bunch of different things. So what we want to do is go ahead and go back to that main game directory as it should still be open. And you want to click the scripts folder and all three of these at the bottom. And you simply want to drag and drop it into your open area like so. And once you have done that, I highly recommend going down into the folders and clicking the script hook rdr.net.ini. And there's going to be the console key and I have mine set to nothing, but it is by default F2. And you can change this or set it to nothing like I have because you really don't need to be opening this uh, script hook.net prompt inside your game but the Lenny's outfit changer does use the same key prompt. It's easier to just delete this so you don't have to change it. So now that we have that done, let's just quickly go ahead and download a script mod from Nexus and I'll show you how to drop that into that scripts folder that we just created. All right, so now that we are back over to the Nexus mods page, we're just going to click a random script mod that I know is a script here. So we have uh, we have open all interiors. Let's just go ahead and do this one. Uh, some mods actually do require this. So this can be a good mod actually to have installed. I generally do always have this installed and it is simple. Slow download as before. And once we have this opened up, you'll see that there is an ASI and an INI file. A lot of your files and folders, or excuse me, a lot of your files that you download will be .asi folders because this is the file extension for scripts. INI.ini files are going to be your preferences on how to set up that folder. 
So if there's any type of key prompts or buttons that you can change and configurate, that is what the .ini folder is always going to be for. So inside of our main game, we have the scripts folder and a lot of our ASIs and .ini's can go inside of the scripts folder, but some of them will also be required to go into your main game directory. So let's just say, for instance, this one goes into the scripts folder. We open up our scripts folder and we just simply click these two and drag and drop it into the open area. As you see, I already have these installed. So it's gonna give me the replace prompt, but you won't have these installed. And it's that simple. So if they, if the mod requires you to drop this into your scripts folder, it generally will say, if it doesn't, I would still drop it in here anyway, because generally if it needs to be in your main game directory, they will tell you inside the description for the mod to drop it into your main game directory. As you see here, I do have some dot ASIs like the auto greet, which the auto greet is a perfect example. If you have this inside your scripts folder, it does not work, but inside your main game directory, it actually does. So that's it for this one. This is how to easily install script hook and script mods for Red Dead Redemption 2. This process will never change. So once you've learned it, you know how to do it. So if this video has helped you in any kind of way, please make sure to click that like button. Drop a comment down below. Most importantly, click that subscribe button as it helps my channel tremendously and helps me be able to bring you more of these tutorials and videos on Red Dead Redemption 2 and all of your favorite sim games. And if you need any more help installing your mods or getting your game running properly, please make sure to click that Discord link down below as someone in my staff or myself will gladly help you out to get that game up and running. And as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.